As you can see, I'm back on the island, and despite this foggy weather, I'm very happy and at peace, as I usually feel here. And speaking of the weather, during the winter weather on the island can vary a lot. One day can be sunny, the next day windy and rainy, and today it's foggy. Which is kind of weird, because it rarely happens. And this fog actually gave me an idea. Well, firstly, Happy New Year, and secondly, my idea is to climb to the second highest point of the island, which isn't even that high, <laughs> it's just 500 and... 40 meters and we're gonna drive up there so the walk is just 30 minutes long cheating <laughs> but yeah i got the idea to go up there and catch some sun because people who live on the upper areas of the island told us that the fog is only down near the sea where we live and up there it's sunny so i thought that it would be really interesting to uh, be under the sun and see the clouds down there. I think it would be beautiful. Um, yeah. But this is really weird because I was swimming like three days ago and it was sunny and now it's so dark and foggy and moody and I love... that's what I love about the island life. I mean during the summer it's always the same. It's always sunny but during the winter it's so different, it varies, and you know, you have uh, the winds, Buddha and Yugo, and the seas, um, way we, way we, <laughs> and then you have fog, and then you have sun, and the calm sea, so every day it's so different, and I think that's really interesting and beautiful, so yeah, but back to our story, I have no idea if up there is gonna be sun um, but if we don't explore we will never know so yeah let's go explore <laughs> yeah hi guys hi hey guys, guys. <laughs> we are going on the work Kavats. <laughs> we are looking for the sun there is no sun <laughs> Wow, so sunny. <laughs> well, Just stones the fog. Maybe you're watching this and thinking that we are not really smart because we are hiking in this kind of weather, but it's not really a long hike, it's just 30 minutes and we know this road really well. We are always up here, so we know every single rock here, so it's okay. You see how the bushes are all leaned to one side that's because of the wind Buddha it's really strong here so when it blows all the, the vegetation just leans to one side Sunny day. We are very, very happy on 
Hajde više, idemo! Okej. You'd be surprised how many people actually had the same idea as we had to go up here and catch some sun. Uh, a lot of tourists, a lot of locals, tourists are here because they came to celebrate New Year. And tomorrow is Monday, so I think they will all leave. But yeah, some tourists actually came here. Anyway, we are going home before the dark. So, bye bye. So in November, while I was on the island, on one of my morning walks in nature, I got the idea because I was walking in a little park slash forest where there are uh, actually labels with the names of the plants and I was walking and looking at the labels and trying to figure out what, what are the names of the plants around me and I got the idea and I got really excited about it and the idea was to make a herbal journal, but I didn't want to make it just, you know, a plant, the name of the plant, and that's it. I really wanted to make it like a book of plants, where I'll be explaining about a plant, uh, what is it good for, maybe some write some recipes in it, make it just aesthetically pleasing, because I love design, I love when things look good, and uh, I love drawing, so I was drawing a lot of a lot of uh, drawings for my herbal journal journal in Zagreb and here, so I could put them on the pages of my journal to make it beautiful and aesthetically pleasing, as I like. <laughs> And yeah, basically, that first day when I got the idea, the same morning, I was just wandering around, picking up plants randomly, and <laughs> I got this book later, and I realized I did everything completely wrong, I picked everything wrong, so I'm gonna do everything um, all over again, plus Right now, those plants are under the pile of books, which is not really practical, takes up a lot of space, so I decided to make a plant press for my new hobby, um, and then collect plants all over again um, correctly, so I think it's gonna be fun. I'm really excited about it. And I can't wait, so yeah, we are gonna make a plant press together right now and then go collect some plants and press them in the press. Can't wait, I'm really excited. Let's go.
now I need some plants. So the press is here, it's done, I love it, it doesn't take up a lot of space, it's practical and I absolutely love when things are practical, so it's good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put it uh, away, it's heavy. That's the first thing and the second thing I wanted to talk with you a little bit about some struggles I've been having with filming <laughs> again <laughs> um, but I want to be honest and real up here and that's what I'm always talking about the struggles because when you are watching a video on YouTube it can seem like everything is just perfect that the life is perfect and that there are no problems at all but that's obviously not the truth so the problem I've been having is that, you know, it's really hard to film videos. I knew that YouTube is hard, but I couldn't ever imagine it's this much work. For example, the thing that would usually take me 15 minutes to do, for example, this press, it took me two hours just because I had to change the angle of the camera like 30 times. Collecting those plants took me two hours. For three plants, I picked up just three plants and it took me two hours. And also, when I'm taking, for example, a walking scene, every single time I have to walk back to pick up the camera. And if I'm lucky, I'm gonna take it right on the first take, but it usually takes like five takes. And also, I don't have autofocus, so I have to turn the mode to the photography mode connect to my phone, go there, focus on myself, then uh, come back to the camera, turn it on the, <laughs> on the filming mode and then film and go walk and then go back and pick up the camera. So it's a lot of work. The second thing is that filming outside for me is so discomfortable, but that's kind of okay because I decided that this year, 2022, it's gonna be a year where I'm gonna expand my comfort zone because I realize that if I don't expand my comfort zone and if I don't face my fears, I'm gonna stuck in one place. And I really don't wanna stuck in my place. I realize that I'm not doing things I would love to do just because I'm afraid of them. And my comfort zone is like this. So yeah, it's discomfortable to go film outside because 
uh, when people see you with a tripod and a camera, they ask you what you're doing because here people just know people. When you go out, whoever sees you probably knows you and people are curious and then, then you ask what you're doing when you're going and I don't feel like explaining it every time so that's this comfortable and the third thing is I don't know how to find balance between having a moment and filming a moment and that's that's not really good because when I'm not filming I am in the moment. For example, if I go out to pick some plants, I'm slowly picking those plants, connecting with nature. Every time I pick a plant, I thank, for example, the tree. I say thank you and um, I listen to the sounds around me. I observe everything and it's just a beautiful experience. But if I go out to film that moment, I'm not. I'm not in the moment, you know, because I'm thinking about where I'm gonna put the camera, how I'm gonna angle it, where is the good lighting, you know, about just just rushing through, rushing through the task and just thinking about filming and it's not really good. The problem is that I wasn't anymore having the real moments because I was taking the camera everywhere with me and I was filming like my life, I was filming everything in my life. I was taking my camera every single time and the problem was that I wasn't anymore having the moments for myself. I was filming everything and I exploded. I couldn't do that anymore. It was overwhelming. And I just said, this isn't sustainable. I'm not gonna take my camera anywhere for two days. I'm not the, like, I'm not gonna do anything. And that helped, but I don't know how to find a balance because for me, I'm either gonna take the camera and film everything or I'm not gonna take my camera at all and I'm just being the moment completely. I don't know how to balance. If I take the camera, I don't know how to balance between filming and not filming. So there is no balance for me and yeah, that's overwhelming and <laughs> I have to learn how to balance it and if there are any creators out there on the internet who know how to balance these things who figured it out please let me know because I don't know I have no idea I have to learn that yeah that's basically all I wanted to say and thank you, really thank you for staying so long in this video. It means a lot because it takes a lot of time to film and edit this video. So thank you so much. It means a lot. And hopefully I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye.